Good evening. The Bhavanipur bipole campaign ended today, but not without its fair share of high drama. Former West Bengal State Chief Dilip Ghosh, the BJP alleges, was attacked by TMC goons. In response, Ghosh's personal security brandished their pistols in a bid to do their job, that is, to protect the protectee. But it's not just another case of a clash gone violent. Why can't any Bengal election, big or small, pass off without violence? And more importantly, is the TMC betraying a sense of nervousness at Mamta Banerjee and this big bipole? Because after all, the TMC can ill afford a repeat of what happened in Nandigram. We'll get to that and more. But first, the story on the final day of campaigning for Bhavani. The final day of campaigning in the hotbed of Bhavanipur. Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee's turf. The TMC eyes a comfortable victory, but the BJP is going all out to deter Mamta's campaign. But two days before the polls, BJP National Vice President and former Bengal Unit Chief Dilip Ghosh was caught in a scuffle on the streets of Bhavanipur, alleging he was attacked by TMC goons. He later released a video claiming they had to pull out guns to control the situation. Ghosh says the TMC is plotting to kill him and spook voters as it is scared of Mamta losing, now moving the election commission to cancel the elections. The BJP has been continuously trying to create some trouble in order to gain media mileage from the very beginning in Bhavanipur campaign. So their effort is to create trouble because they know they are not going to win the elections. यहाँ जो कलकत्ता पुलिस है, जो कि कोशाक में तेनमूल कांग्रेस के कैडर है, वो कहीं नहीं देखा गया। जहाँ भी आप देखिएगा, हमारे दोनों नेताओं को बचा के लाया जो केंद्रीय फोर्स था। even though Mamta Banerjee led her party to a stellar victory in the state elections, she lost in Nandigram to Shuvendu Adhikari, and now the six-month deadline looms. But the spectre of election violence has returned to Bengal months after the state polls, exposing the Gunda Raj once again. The question remains, is the situation conducive for free and fair polls? In New Delhi, Ayushman Singh Jamwal. All right, joining us on the talking point, Tuin Sinha, spokesperson of the BJP, Professor Om Prakash Mishra, spokesperson of the Trinamool, Abhijit Majumdar, is co-founder and editor-in-chief of the audio platform Earshot.in, and Tosif Ahmed Khan, political analyst. Professor Mishra, I'll start with you because you are representing the TMC. Uh, it is your party in power. Mamta Banerjee came back for a record third time with a record mandate, and this is, after all, a constituency where she's won from uh, on two previous occasions, a and yet this violence happening on the final day of campaigning and if you look at the video uh, that was put out by the BJP some time back it's clear that uh, Dilip Ghosh there was an attempt made by some members of your party to push him and shove him and his security personnel do w what their job is supposed to be and that is to protect the protectee at any cost what do you have to say to that sir oh uh, well uh the ousted president of the state BJP has been absent from campaigning in Bhavanipur. And so therefore, on the last day, uh, with a premediated plan, he has attempted to uh, win some spotlight for himself. There is no violence. Law and order is in com under complete control. It is Dilip Ghosh's personal security guard uh, or official who actually brandished a revolver. There was some scuffle. Uh, Dilip Ghosh has asked for a postponement of the by-election. His party has rejected that demand. They have not put this demand before the election commission. 
because a delegation of BJP leaders made uh, made the election commission. You know, Professor Mishra, can I, so can I can I can I ask you? Are we are running pictures, sir, sir, sir. We are running pictures of, BJP of at least two workers of the BJP who are bleeding from the head, bleeding from uh, the temple. Uh, they uh, they have uh, you know injuries on their face. Now, if you are saying there's no it, violence, it, 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 no, no. It, if you are saying it, there's it, it, no violence, then what are you saying? There, the Dilip no, Ghosh hit them no with a the rock, or Dilip uh, Ghosh's security officers hit them with a the no, rock? No, Who Dilip, injured Dilip them? Dilip Ghosh is wrong. Dilip Ghosh is wrong, and he he is there to uh, create uh, this type of a. Uh, uh, a situation. No, no. Who so attacked a, these two uh, people uh, from to whose heads blood is flowing? That's uh, all so I'm asking. So, it is for the election commission. They sir, can take a, uh, sir, take a sir, call sir, 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 on I'm what is happening. If you are saying days, there was no happening, happening, then who hit one or the other these two BJP, BJP leaders, workers? They are jumping on the, to the plane. Whose visuals are there? They are playing in front of your screen. They we have blood flowing from their head. Who hit them? Please answer that. That's all. There is no problem. We do not believe Professor in violence. Mishra, in fact, we believe in violence. If you can, if you way, can stop uh, your monologue this, for a second Bort, and listen to my question, then we can have a useful conversation. It will be useful to you, it will be useful to me, and most importantly, it will be useful to our viewers. Professor Mishra, Professor Mishra, Professor Mishra, may I please plead with you, sir? May I please plead with you to stop your monologue for a second? Please stop your monologue for a second. Listen to my question, and please try and answer the question and to the best of your ability well, because otherwise otherwise there's no point you sir well sir you are not doing any service to, to your party or to our viewers you are not doing any service BJP please please out please pause for a moment listen to my question to my question i'm repeating for the third time professor uh, so mishra who hit these people with stones on the head professor mishra who hit these people with stones on their head please answer the question mr mishra sir i plead with you Please, Mr. Mishra, I'm asking you a simple question. Who hit these people with stones on their head? They have blood flowing out of their head. Who hit them? Please answer the question. Yeah, so far as uh, I know, it is the BJP uh, uh, workers. They have uh, tried to hit each other and that is why there was some scuffle. BJP so, workers uh, hit themselves. So okay. So it is okay. not okay. a so BJP workers hit themselves. Problem. In fact, we are campaigning. This very is well this is some internal problem in your party. You have uh, but last uh, supporters of different groups have been clashing and therefore they hit themselves. Please respond. And also to the charge about why yeah, fact, PSOs uh, were maybe, brandishing maybe uh, know, weapons uh, 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 at, a, uh, at a campaign. To Hinsina. Zaka, the violence unleashed at Dilip Ghosh today was an attempt to assassinate him the way they have assaulted and assassinated scores of BJP Karikartas in the last three months and also in the two years preceding that. And it proves that the TMC is fundamentally, you know, they don't have the temperament to exist in an evolved democracy. I want to remind you about a you know, about a, you know, unacceptable comment by Mamta Banerjee just two days back, where she compared the dead body of Manas Saha, BJP candidate from Magrahat West constituency in the last assembly election. She compared his dead body who died in an attack by TMC workers to a rotting dog's carcass. Is that the culture of TMC? Unfortunately, that is. When they, against political rivals during election, they use assault weapons, they use assault weapons. After victory, they celebrate victory by unleashing stone age violence upon women and the poor. At least 50 women have been molested and raped. And this has been, uh, you know, this has been specified by the judgment of the Honorable Kolkata, Kolkata High, High Court, Court yeah. which called for a CBI inquiry and which and which which called which called for a CBI inquiry and which actually indicted the Mamata Banerjee's uh, government's complicity in Professor the post poll Mishra, violence. So uh, you know, will you at least Mamata admit that the post poll violence in the Calcutta High Court five judge bench castigated castigated the state government for the mayhem that we saw for three days after second of May, and now we are perhaps seeing a, a repeat of that, yeah, albeit in a much smaller lost. scale, restricted to one constituency. So something must be wrong, sir. Yeah. Professor is, is this question directed? Yes, uh, yes, of course, me? sir. The question is directed at you. To you. Yeah. Uh, in fact, you have referred to the High Court order. You should know, and uh, possibly you are aware that the investigation is on. We are cooperating with all types of investigation that has now been unleashed and we do know very well. Has the National Human Rights Commission visited Assam 
uh, are they going to Tripura? There is an attempt uh, to defame Bengal and in fact all these propaganda, these are all going to be answered by the people of Bhavanipur okay. uh, on 3rd of October when the election we, results we, are we announced. Will, we will know that. But, but, but let me go to, let me go to Abhijit Majumdar. Let me please go to Abhijit Majumdar. And I, I, I have a very simple question to ask Abhijit. Why is the TMC uh, afraid of Bhavanipur and the, uh, the by-election there in as much as you know, this is Mamta Banerjee's backyard. Her residence is there. She won from there in 2011 by, I think, 56, 57,000 votes. She won again in 2016 by about 27, 28,000 votes. Uh, she is, you know, the, the person to beat. So so why, why on the final day of the campaign have this clash? I mean, does it betray a sense of nervousness? And if at all, why should they be nervous at all? No, Zaka, I think that's, that's the narrative that the BJP... Uh, wants to say that Mamata Banerjee is um, uh, afraid and nervous. Uh, if you ask me personally, I don't think Mamata Banerjee uh, fears that she might lose from Bhavanipur. Uh, I think it's going to be a fairly uh, comfortable victory for her. But what this tells us is that the TMC led by Mamata Banerjee has got complete validation of the tactics, the muscling tactics that has been there in Bengal politics for 40, 50 years now, you know, since the coming of the, uh, uh, of the communists and uh, later on. So, you know, the victory, the resounding victory has given TMC complete validation that this is, this is how Bengal works. This is how Bengal's politics works. And this is how it is going to be. It is unfortunately, uh, you know, unfortunate that the BJP uh, B BJP just uh, keeps on whining about it. BJP, if BJP is to win Bengal, BJP has to learn that it has to, uh, you know, uh, you know, it cannot rely on sympathy. It has to build strength. And, uh, you know, nobody in Bengal, this entire violence in uh, uh, Bhavanipur, the whole uh, arm twisting, uh, muscling, uh, that, that the BJP has been complaining about is not because, in my opinion, it is not because TMC is nervous about a defeat, but TMC wants to sort of double down on, the, on, on its entire premise that, listen, if you are against us, if you are not with us, you are against us, and if you are against us, we will make you pay let you know uh, let the courts do what what they want let the NR, uh, uh, nhrc do what they want let bjp do what they want okay so i think it's 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 a validation and it's it's uh, tmc's message uh, in this i mean uh, showcase election it is it is their uh, message that you know this is how it's going to be you are going to and you know believe me there's a fair bit of fear among bjp karyakartas in bengal i mean they you know, it is not that they're working uh, freely. I mean, the, the entire spirit of resistance, etc., of, of fighting and, uh, you know, uh, trying to bring down uh, the TMC government, that, all that I don't think exists in the way uh, there was after the 2019 election, Looks when election. BJP got 18 seats. No, it also perhaps uh, explains so, uh, why a number of MLAs uh, have shifted from the BJP to the TMC. Exactly. I think they had 77 when the election concluded, and right now they have about 72, 73, if I'm not mistaken. But let me let me ask uh, Tosif Ahmed Khan, though. I mean, this is a VVIP constituency. This is where Mamta Banerjee's home is. Uh, law and order, of course, is a state subject. It's the state uh, government that controls it. It's the state police that controls it. And yet, the two people who were injured, of course, and Mr. Dilip Ghosh, they were all, uh, you know, uh, brisked away to safety, not by the state police, but by... The central police that were accompanying Mr. Mr. Ghosh and his convoy. That's number one. Number two, isn't it not in the interests of the state government to show that this by-election passes off peacefully, no violence, so that you're not giving a handle to the BJP to say that, look, it's vitiated. How can you conduct a free and fair election in this kind of atmosphere? Zaka, this campaigning for this by-election is going on from last more than two weeks. So far, no incident, not even any, you know, any violent, any incident of violence or any incident of scuffle reported. Today, it is only after Dilip Ghosh came that this incident came to report. So this points towards the uh, possibility 
a very very you know apparent possibility that this was a stage on one side there were people who were unarmed no baton no no nothing they were only uh, sloganeering they were shouting go back dilip bhosh on the other side we saw security personnel guarding uh, um, uh, dilip bhosh they were brandishing pistol automatic weapon not one but two this they tried to send a message what, what kind of message and where this message they are trying to send in a in a in a state where bjp is divided into various houses bjp workers bjp leaders there are there are quite good number of bjp leaders and workers who are against uh, dilip ghosh they did not want dilip ghosh to lead the party and that no, was no, the no, reason no, why we, we, no 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 one second one second one second let's go let's 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 rewind let's rewind a second, let, 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 rewind, let rewind let a second. Me, no no one second one second no no tossi tossi you said you said no no tossi you said you said that on the one side were unarmed protesters on the other side they were sloganeering on the other other side there were people brandishing guns we've got the exact sequence of visuals and from the visuals it's very clear it's very clear these are pictures on camera ladies and gentlemen these pictures don't lie it's very clear that this so called quote unquote unarmed group was pushing and shoving mr dilip ghosh they were trying to to get to him get past his security get to him they were pushing and shoving him what do you expect his security officers to do when a protectee the, their job is to protect this particular person when the protectee is getting pushed and shoved what do they do what do you expect them to do tossi Brand, brandishing uh, guns at this you know i leave it for the people to judge pushing no, when and slow when a mob is attacks this, a protectee this, what is, what is, is the security a, officer supposed to do no it no tell me mob attack, attacking protectee if the Please mob is trying to push and shove and reach weeks, reach the protectee what is the security me, officer supposed to do you tell me from the last two weeks campaign is going on yes and there are there's a whole list of bjp star campaigners the 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 contestant the the one who is there pro, the candidate yes priyanka the bjp candidate is complaining that where are my star um, campaigners why is lokit chatterjee not showing up why is others not showing up why did dilip not showed up in the dilip ghosh not showed up in the last two weeks okay there is a great amount to, of to uh, him to him respond uh, he he uh, the tosif's point is that you are divided into camps mr ghosh was the state president this. he got uh, the job got taken away from him uh, and and none of them none of the big high profile folks were campaigning for your candidate in bhavanipur that's what tosif is saying so dilip ghosh you know that's none of his business Dil dilip ghosh is the man who has single handedly fought against tmc's barbarism in the last 6 years so you know Then it's only understandable it? how much they hate him and they wanted to that they want no no that's that's none of your business you you are a dynastic party we are not so that you know it is understandable how much they hate him they wanted to eliminate him i want to remind you that a political worker who had slapped abhishek banerji some time back was found mysteriously murdered this is the culture of tmc the bloodshed the murderous intent is inherent and today what the world has seen over here i think let the world know that mamta banerji is unfit to exist in a evolved democracy like ours okay professor mishra again i come back to the same point law and order is in your hands you cannot blame it on anybody else and it's there's a pattern of well, repeated uh, Jaka, behavior that uh, is happening uh, We saw it in the post poll violence. Uh, We are seeing uh, it Mr. today. Mr. Jaka, I I accept what you are saying that the law and order is with the state administration, but then you should also know, and you know that well, that right now we are having by election, and to the extent that the uh, scope and the extent geographical extent of the uh, Bhawanipur constituency as well as the Samsel Ganj. constituency and jongipur constituency these are being directed by the election commission so th number 1 secondly only 4 uh, months back we have the bengal uh, assembly election results where we did not find the bjp or for that matter any other political party complaining that they have lost because of violence or rigging 
rather actually the opposition did quite well bjp uh, got itself 77 uh, seats though they had the hope for 200 seats etc etc now the question is that why and Toshib khan mr khan has actually raised a very right question something that i also referred to that there are strong infighting going on in BJP. Okay. That is how and why many people are leaving BJP. Some of them are going to join Trinamool Congress very soon. Uh, four MLAs have already joined. One minister of the Narendra Modi government for six years, he has joined uh, Trinamool Congress. So therefore, the BJP is, is unnecessarily spending its political capital in Bhawanipur. Because okay. on 3rd December, uh, October, uh, October, I we, hope we, that you we, do we, a program we'll leave it, we'll leave and then the you will find that, that all the campaign points of the BJP has I'll give you, I'll give you the final word. So uh, I think, I think Professor Mishra has a point in as much as, you know, BJP had 77 on May 2nd. Today they have 72. Why are people making a beeline from the BJP towards the TMC? It's a fair question. Abhijit. Abhijit, please. Only Abhijit. The most obvious reason is that they don't see, see any future outside the TMC right now in the state. Uh, the, the BJP has, uh, you know, failed to show them uh, a secure and even safe future um, ahead of them in Bengal uh, till the TMC is in power. The second... Well, uh, you know, it may sound like a conspiracy theory, but I, I think a fair bit of Trojan horses uh, were sent to BJP before the elections who, you know, who have done their job and are going back. Okay. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, these are the two reasons that, you know, just one final word, uh, Zaka, this whole video of the uh, security person yeah. uh, brandishing a gun. Uh, at the this thing, I mean, what is a security person? What else was yeah. he supposed to do exactly. if this were to happen to Mamata Banerjee? You know, a whole mob jostling to get to her, or Abhishek Banerjee would would this would their security uh, uh, guards treat them thing, with yeah. flowers? Yeah, I don't think. I mean, it's fair to uh, you know uh, say it's it's not the same as a hoodlum brandishing a gun. It's a it's a security. It 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 is. Uh, Dilip Ghosh's personal security. He was doing his duty. Okay, so, we'll leave it at uh, that. You know, uh, 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 like I said, uh, it's the big Babanipur battle. It's on the 30th of September. We'll get the results next week. Uh, and ultimately, the people of that constituency have to decide uh, who they want or who they believe their future is with. Uh, meanwhile, today, uh, the nation was literally paralyzed by the Bharat Band and the farmer unions calling for the repeal of the, three, repeal of the three farm laws. The chaos ranged from traffic snarls, hindering the movement of professionals, school children, uh, essential services. Uh, in fact, at many places, uh, the farmers even clashed with the police. At the Chilla border and even in Chennai, as far as Chennai, uh, protesters rushed to blockade and clash with the cops. In Haryana and Punjab, train and bus services were badly affected. Farmers took over the railway tracks and bus stands. Despite calls from the centre for talks, uh, the farmers are still continuing to insist that they will not leave till the three laws are uh, repealed. Farmers' protest has turned violent yet again in Noida. I'll try and show you around in the visuals. Currently, we are at Sector 6, Noida, outside the Noida Authority office, where farmers have yet again barged through a, through a massive barricade that was placed just to make sure that farmers do not cross the, uh, the, these barricades. We are currently outside the administration office, where the farmers have gathered to make sure that the authority hears to them. No lati charge or no massive presence of police or security forces has happened as of now. W women are here, men are here, children are here. Every Almost all the farmers in and across Noida have gathered here to, to register their protest against the coercive action that has been taken by the Noida authority as of now. I am in this time in Ludhiana railway station where the Shtadi train, which was in the morning at 7.30 p.m. and was now on the way to the station, is now on the way to the Ludhiana station. I would like to show you the pictures. The Shtadi train is on the way to the Shtadi train and the people who are riding on this train, दिल्ली दिल्ली के लिए पहुंचने के लिए अमूमन यहां पर यात्री बैठते हैं और दिल्ली पहुंचने का जो इसका समय है लगभग 11 बजे का समय कहा जा रहा है कि 11 बजे दिल्ली पहुंचती है पर अभी तक ये लुधियाना स्टेशन पर ही खड़ी हुई है दिखते बहुत सारी है अभी मैं मेरे को दिल्ली से पटना की फ्लाइट पकड़नी थी छः बजे के लगभग में मेरे को लग रहा है छूट जाएगी ट्रेन की जो स्थिति है सुबह से बैठा हूँ यहाँ से सात बजे से 
I tell you what, the Constitution guarantees the right to freedom of movement to work in any part of the country. And that was curtailed today in a huge way by the farmers uh, for people in Gurugram and in other parts who were simply, you know, driving down to their workplaces. That fundamental right to the freedom of movement was curtailed. That is what it boils down to. That's a wrap. I'll catch you again tomorrow night, same time. Good night.